Welcome back to my channel guys. Thank you very much for coming back uh, to watch another video here on my channel. Thank you. Thank you very much. Today's recipe I'm gonna be showing you how to make a mashed potatoes. I'm really really wondering if you go to the restaurant and ask yourself how did they make these potatoes this mashed potatoes so perfectly. I'm gonna give you the trick today so stay tuned. Let's start. The first thing you want to do is you want to take four to five potatoes or depending on how many servings you have and you are going to peel these potatoes and you want to put them on a bowl and you're going to boil them for 20 to 25 minutes make sure you take a spoon and take all the little uh, little things that the potatoes usually have in it so that way the creamiest and the potato can be as softer and as creamiest they can be After you have the potatoes in, on a pan, put a lid on it, make sure you let it cook for the time or until they are soft enough. It depends on how high the high the high the fire you are cooking in then. Um, it looks like they are ready. So now after they're ready, they're already soft, they're cooked, you're gonna put them on a glass bowl and you are going to be ready to start mashing these potatoes and making them the best you can be. Now what you wanna do is you wanna start mashing the potato but you don't wanna completely mash them because you're just gonna make it softer. I'm gonna put a little bit of milk. Okay, I can make it a little bit of mess over there but it's okay, uh, you clean later. And you are going to mash them. And this will be a regular potatoes that we'll make at home. But right now I'll tell you what the restaurant do extra that usually people don't do at home. And they start beating them like this. Of course they have, you know, probably a bigger machine that they can do it with. You're gonna beat them right there and you're gonna add a little bit of milk and uh, make sure you have um, a glass of milk because you're gonna put milk as you need it in the potatoes remember you don't want them too watery but also you don't want them too rough right now you're gonna add a little bit of sour cream this is gonna help it's gonna give a really good flavor to the mashed potatoes and also you're gonna give it a really good texture Beating them, make sure all the sour cream is well incorporated into the mashed potatoes. And right now you want to add butter. I love butter and I love the way uh, it make taste the mashed potatoes and the texture that it gives them. So I use a lot. Um, if you don't like butter or you don't like it too much, you can. You don't have to put a lot, but definitely butter will help your mashed potatoes to have a really 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 good flavor and and it's gonna make it help them get really creamiest so keep beating them add a little bit of salt of course to bring that flavor in and beat it right there to bring the fluffiness into the mashed potatoes look at that Guys, that's restaurant quality right there. Amazing. Right now you're gonna serve them into a little bowl or plate. And look at the fluffiness. Look at that. Wow. Completely amazing. I'm a, I am really pleased with the results of this dish. Something that you can make at any time, at any point. And you can make it for different occasions. You can, you know, you can have it with a steak. You can do it for Thanksgiving. Many occasions you can make mashed potatoes. And if you want them to be perfect, uh, this is definitely the way to go.
beautifully done. So fluffy, creamiest, unbelievable. Now you wanna do, you wanna take a little bit of melted butter and you wanna put it on top of it. And then add a little bit of parsley. And if you don't have parsley, you can also put a little bit of cilantro, but I'd rather have parsley. It, it, it just gives it a really good look. It, it, Look at that. Beautiful. I'm so ready to taste these amazing mashed potatoes. Guys, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel. Leave your comment down below. Hit the bell for notifications. And don't forget, if you're new to this channel, to subscribe. I will see you next time with another recipe of Rack Kitchen.